Hi everyone, it's Lisa from A Simple Season. Today we're going to be making homemade ricotta cheese. And if homemade cheese is something that you think you would never attempt to do, think again because it is so easy and so rewarding. All you need is three ingredients and 25 minutes and you have the most amazing fresh cheese that will rival anything that you can buy in the store. So today we're gonna to be making our very own fresh ricotta cheese and it is so easy to make with only three ingredients. I have some 10% cream here. You can use whole milk for this as well but I prefer the texture with the 10% cream. I have a little bit of salt and a little bit of vinegar in here and those are the only three things you need and in half an hour you will have beautiful fresh ricotta cheese to spread on baguettes or mix with pasta or use in dessert. So the first step is I've set my saucepan on medium high heat and I'm going to pour the cream inside. and add about a quarter teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna bring this up to a boil. So you just wanna keep that heat on medium high and just sort of stir it gently so that nothing on the bottom of the pot scorches. And so you just wanna keep the milk kind of moving gently around while it's heating up. So as soon as it starts to boil, you want to take it off the heat. So now that the milk has boiled, you want to add the vinegar and stir it through. And then you just let it sit undisturbed for about five or six minutes. So now that we've had this sitting for a few minutes after adding the vinegar, you can see what's happened here. So the milk has curdled up and has formed the ricotta cheese and this liquidy stuff is the whey. So now what we're going to do is we're going to strain this mixture and I'll show you how we do that. So what I have here is just one of these little mesh baskets and if you don't have one of these, you can just use a colander and I have a little piece of cheesecloth that I'm going to line it with. And if you don't have cheesecloth, you can just use a colander and line it with a few layers of paper towel. That will work just fine too. The point is, is you just wanna be able to pour the cheese mixture into here and let it drain. So I'm just going to set my little wire basket over a bowl because I want to capture all of that whey in this bowl because of course you can use the whey, you can put it in muffins, you can use it in bread dough. So now I'm just going to pour in my cheese. So now we're gonna let this strain in the cheesecloth for about 20 minutes. And that's about the texture that I like um, for, to let it sit about 20 minutes. If you want it drier, you can let it sit for 25 to 30 minutes. If you like it a little bit more moist, you can let it sit 10 to 15. I like sort of the 15, 20 minute mark. And as you can see, the way has collected nicely in the bowl here. So I'm gonna save that and I can use that for bread dough and it's gonna be awesome. So this will keep about, oh, I would say five, six days in the fridge and um, the two cups of cream yielded about a cup of ricotta. So this is the perfect size for a charcuterie board with the holidays coming up it's so good to be able to serve that and it is so good, so much better than the store-bought stuff just because it is so fresh. So hopefully you will give this a try and it is amazing. So here's a couple of things you can do with it. This one just has the ricotta with tomato and basil, which is a classic combination. And this one has a little bit of chopped up Genoa salami and a bit of parsley. And then of course, if you have a little bit of some good olive oil to drizzle over the top, that never hurts too. Thanks so much for stopping by and seeing me today and hopefully this will give you something new to try. Take care everyone and we'll see you next time.